So here we are, keen at the airport, very excited about the adventure ahead. We're going to a farm. <laughs> I'm not really sure what to expect actually, I think it's going to be very hot. I'm Stephen Kedza, I'm from Mount Riddick. I run this place with my wife. We sustainably farm beef cattle in Central Australia in the rangeland. We run about 8,000 up to 9,000 on, on average. This is Alice Springs. Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> okay, I don't know where the handbrake is. Very excited to be on my way to Mount Riddick Station. Won this amazing competition run by Target 100 go um, yeah, check out a cattle station. An experience of a lifetime, introducing them to our lifestyle and amazing technology and innovation in the pastoral industry. It's great to get you here, Thank Amelia you. and David, and we have got lots, lots and lots organised for you tomorrow. Helicopter! So this morning we're going up in a helicopter. We're doing some mustering of cattle. So you've got over 140 kilometres of cover and tend to the properties. The helicopters are a really crucial tool out here. First time I've ever been a quad bike. My heart was absolutely racing. I wasn't sure if they were going to run back at me or anything like that. If they do, the other stockmen were going to be there to help save me. Amelia, what I have here is our uh, ear tags. Yeah, we have a different colour for every year. And then we come to these little things. This is a Nils tag. So we have a little chip, and the chip sends a digital number to the reader. Every beast that we have has a lifetime traceability. We can see if they're stolen, check their weights, and the new technology that's coming out is what we call walkover weighing. So when the cattle come into water, this will be read, their weight will be collected, and the data through the telemetry system will be sent back to the homestead. We'll set up perimeters at home. So they come in here, the cattle will then be drafted, and they have to come to water, so that 90% of the work that we're doing here today will be done without a human being being anywhere near them. We'll be able to be more efficient elsewhere on the station while this job's doing itself. Yeah, that's just all aboard. Water is the lifeblood of everything that lives out here, and we don't have natural water holes. Every bit of water we get has to come out of the ground. All our outlying bores, we have them on a observant telemetry system. Telemetry, basically what it does is it tells us remotely what's happening at this bore. It tells us how much water's in the tank, and it sends it back to our system base unit. Remotely stop and start. It's just a click. You can put in how many hours you want it to run for and then just hit start and it, and it starts. So instead of one of you going out there, yeah. like spending an hour going there? Yeah, 180 to 200 kilometres a week in, in savings in travel. If we went overseas, we could uh, get on an iPhone, click on the app and just bring up all our information. All these little things helping make life a lot more efficient because it's really hard out here. So Amelia, we just wanted to show you how much land care we've done in the last 24, 26 years of being on that mm -hmm. bridge. So these are pictures of the start of a ponding bank. What's a ponding bank? Well, it's where you catch the water. You only want to catch it for a short amount of time so it will pond and then set it into the ground. And you can see now that we've got up to 10 different grass species and shrubs. And that really is a demonstration of how healthy the soil here is now and how big the seed bank is within that soil. So we know that we've got a healthier patch of land than what we started off with 10 years ago. If we don't have our soil in check with our land care practices, there's no point in being here. And we want to be able to hand it over to our children in a much better condition in which we received it. We're not going to sit here and just do the same things our grandfathers have done for the last 100 years. We're continuously reading and talking to scientists to look at the new ideas and practices that are in our field. And we're trying to encapsulate them and put it into practice on our place. I love being so far away from everything. Ooh. Wow. Have you ever milked a cow? Not a, not a real one. <laughs> Best thing about school there is that you get to see your teachers. Very different from a mainstream school. Raina Lisa. Uh, yep, pop them on. So you were. Headache? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank Thanks. you so much for coming. Bye, guys. Yeah, it's been such an amazing journey. I'm sure we'll be back here one day.